On September 24th, 2022, nearing the end of the transfer period after the RLCS World Cup, apparently Jack and Nolly announced that they will be moving from Europe to North America to compete in North American RLCS, along with Chronic, an up-and-coming talent who was already competing in NA but only saw little success. Four days later, they announced that they got picked up by an org that the Rocket League esports scene hadn't seen before. Qualifiers for the first regional of the new 2022-23 season didn't start out exceptionally well for Genji. After winning only one series against Numinosity and losing to Complexity, Energy and FaZe, Genji finished 12th to 14th, sending them to the close qualifier. In this close qualifier, they played a lot better and proceeded to win 3 out of the 4 series they played, which landed them a 3rd place. This placement was good enough for them to make it into the main event that would take place only 5 days later. Ladies and gentlemen, the RLCS is back. We are here. The North America Fall Open. Brand new year. Everyone has a clean slate. Genji started the main event by losing 3-1 to FaZe Clan and then convincingly winning their next three series with only one game lost. This placed them third out of the 16 teams in the Swiss stage. Genji's next match would be against version 1, one of the most dominant teams in the region. No, we're not listed in. I got okay, version 1 okay. as well. I'm going with version 1. I think staying with the roster is the right move. The first game in the series was a really close match that came down to the wire. And I've been keeping an eye on this game, and it's been very impressive at how both teams just continue to go back and forth, jockeying for position in midfield. And but was ultimately won by V1. No go here, and Achieves inching closer and closer Ooh. into overtime, but big fake on the ball, and Torment tucks it under the crossbar. In the second game, the exact same thing happened, but in Gen G's favor. He shot at getting a touch there is Abjack another pass, Ooh. and that shot on target. Great one two combo play to get the goal late in game number two. With the series tied one to one, everyone expected it to go on in the same fashion. But Gen G, they had other plans. And version one already had six shots on target, and the first one for Gen G goes Launch down to Beast Mode. Can't get the touch, and oh, Ronic up to Nolly. It's open and in. Great passing play to find the. He's gonna take a tough skip for App Jack, but he's on it. He's got the flip reset towards the net. Oh, no way! Find the dunk. Apparently, Jack is gonna turn in number three. <laughs> Gen G, as some would say, just built different. And what Nolly will bring in number four. Okay, oh, a save, two shots. He is just everywhere, fitting so well with this Gen G roster. Oh. Why not another one? After this absolute beatdown, the boys from Gen G decided they weren't done and proceeded to win the whole series. They need a touch. Everyone's going to be looking at that with question marks. And they do oh. indeed separate. Torment. Torment, one on one, huge bounce. Beast mode is really trying to size it up, and Nolly will just take it away himself. If you're not gonna hit it, we will. And Gen G close it out. By winning this series, they guaranteed themselves a spot in the semifinals against Space Station Gaming the next day. SSG was doing very well so far in this tournament, so when the time arrived, they were clearly the favorite to win. But I am going to go with Space Station. I just feel like they've been gaining too much uh, steam coming into this. They've been looking so strong in every single time we saw them, every single day. But again, Gen G showed that they were the better team, winning the series and losing only one game to SSG after one of their timeouts. Final five seconds are going to tick away. Gen G is on its way to the grand finals. G2 and FaZe beware. And after FaZe beat G2 on the other side of the bracket, it was time for the grand final. This grand final against FaZe was a rematch from two days earlier, the first series both teams played in this tournament. Sadly, FaZe Clan was just unbeatable and Gen.G lost 4-1. Hard and does not get the second touch, apparently oh. Jack to Chronic, there's Miss down to the floor! Typical kept it alive for whatever reason, FaZe wants to score one more! But getting second place in the first tournament Gen.G ever played as a team wasn't bad at all and it would certainly come back even stronger.
In the NA Fall Cup two weeks later, Gen.G didn't seem like they were playing at the same level they did previous tournament. Just barely making the top 8 to advance into the playoffs, where they would play against FaZe, a rematch of the finals that they lost just two weeks prior. Since Gen.G wasn't playing the goal on the Swiss stage, everyone thought FaZe Clan would take the win just like last time. Everyone except Gen.G. This series was incredibly close, with both teams trading wins back and forth. And out of 28 games played, that, that could be played, we're gonna play all 28 of them. Oh yeah, every single series played that day went to game 7. So of course, this one had to as well. The full open regional champions, apparently Jackie knows it. Horse is the 15th, but it's still in the air, it's typical, got the cash pass, over the miss, denied oh, Okay, trap Chronic. it. No, he's catching it, and first killer keeps it in the air. Up high. No boost. Jack lets it drop down. Gen G and seven move on to the semifinals. Oh, my goodness gracious me. I thought there was no way. After winning the semifinals from Space Station pretty easily the next day, they met version one in the finals. Both teams played absolutely amazing, and with five out of the seven games played ending in overtime, it was the perfect final to end the Fall Cup. How is this game still going? Champions Field brings out the best of everyone. Oh! Jason scores and version one cuts down Gen G. Another two weeks go by, it's the NA Fall Invitational and after the first day, Gen.G has placed themselves third seed in Swiss, losing only to G2. At the same time, version 1 wasn't doing that well, going all the way to round 5 in Swiss to make 6th place. And by pure coincidence, Gen.G had to face the team that they lost to in the finals just two weeks prior again. But just like last time, that didn't stop them. Make your counterattacks a little bit weaker if every single player, especially that third man, is so deep in your own half, and you're gonna give away a lot of space too. Oh, and he makes just have done it, but it comes right back down. Gen G trying to keep the offense going. Torment. He oh, lost my. it! Goal! Chronic is gonna find Nolly on the side wall. Transition for Gen G. Back to Chronic. Chronic towards the net! Goal! No! Chronic with a massive double tap! The game is on match point! For Beast Mode, he's connected back, back to, to Torment. Torment! Shot with no seconds on the clock. Torment gets the catch. He got the pop, and Chronic gets the touch. Nolly waits! Oh, and that forced oh. him to hesitate. That little hesitation. Centimeters of difference. And Gen G take down version one. They After three consecutive overtime wins and one loss in game four, Gen G managed to close out the series against V1 in just five games to go through to the semi finals that they would play the next day. Sunday, November 6th, 2022. Unbeknownst to anyone at the time, on this day, multiple insane records would be broken by Gen G. The first series played on this championship Sunday was Gen G versus G2 Esports, and most people thought Gen G would take the win, but no one could have predicted what would actually happen. And at the end of that series, wow. we have seen a first arrive for G2. That is the first time they have been swept in any series since Atomic has joined them. Yes, what you just heard from Stumpy is true. This is the first time G2 has ever been swept since Atomic joined the team back in January of 2022. But Gen G still weren't done at all. They still had to wait for the match between Space Station and FaZe to conclude. And of course, it had to be a rematch of the first regional. Gen.G had made the finals of every single regional this split, but had yet to win one. But surely, like everyone knows, third time's the charm. In the end, Gen.G broke the record of the first NA team to go undefeated in games on Championship Sunday. The best record in NA playoffs, with 12 games won and only one lost, and the first team to ever have 100% of their goals assisted in the playoffs. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I want to wish everyone on Gen.G good luck with the Rotterdam Major that's coming up. I can't wait to see them play and take the dub.